Hey guys, welcome for another video. You are watching. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So it's been a long time that we haven't brought anything something like uh, challenging. So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you guys one CTF that uh, recently that I've been uh, attended. Uh, it's uh, a CTF related to something like, uh, you know, we can tell something like network security or something like pawning the box, like, you know, uh, getting into the shell and doing the, like, you know, uh, finding the flag, right? So the last was very simple. So there was uh, some XYZ company, which they gave just me OVA file. This is just a, uh, like, you know, OS file. So uh, they don't give any uh, ID and password to the OS. So I have to find a way to uh, get into the uh, network. I mean, like, get into that uh, OS. And I have to hide a user, and there is some hidden data, and I have to find it. So this was a CTF that has been given, right? So how I solved uh, step by step, uh, I'm going to discuss with you people. So the scenario is here. They are just giving you one operating system. Now you don't have any any details about the thing, like what is the operating system, what is the base thing it has been developed. So where you can host it, like you can host it any VMware or Oracle, uh, like a you know, workstation or Oracle virtual box, right? But after that, you have to find a IP, right? Suppose like obviously like if you if we have to know the IP address of any machine, first we will log into the shell, then we use IP config. Then only we can perform uh, like other things like something like scanning across the network or, or like using a map or other things, right? So here another thing was we don't know the IP address also, and I there are there are a lot of ways uh, you know with trying to uh, match up with the MAC addresses or using ERP and all, but I felt like doing all those things was like you know time consuming and uh you know it takes uh you know a lot of time so i found like in a sense like i used uh, a small thing something like uh you know, like not a cheat code something like smart things right so uh like currently in, inside my vmware in a sense enter vmware workstation i have only uh three missions uh, in that only two missions are active right so what I taught in the sense, obviously, uh, like uh, my Kali Linux, uh, if I wanted to know the IP address of this, uh, sorry, <laughs> I mean Kali, uh, I usually switch between Windows and uh, you know Kali a lot of times, so it gets confused. Okay, so I have conflict. So my uh, like you know, Kali address, uh, like IP address is this. So uh, what? Like how how you know if, if you guys uh, know the concept of subnetting uh, and all it like you guys will understand the things right. So the IP address will range from 192.168.78.12 to 54 right. So the IP address of this particular machine should be somewhat between 192.168.78.12.254. So what I thought in the sense. Let me run my nmap scan between this range. So what does the nmap does in the sense? It will try to loop around all the IP. It will scan the only IP uh, which are up. The sense something like host discovery, like host, like I mean, like whatever the host is up, it will try to scan. So uh, obviously, when the nmap catches and uh, the machine which is up, it will give out the whatever like services is there. Uh, in our CLI with respect to the IP address of that, right? Then at that time, obviously, we'll be able to get to know the IP address of that machine. So, like, I, I, I know this might be a little bit of, uh, you know, confusing when I'm explaining. So, let, let me show you guys in a, in a practically. Suppose, like, nmap is there. So, let me run stealth and let me run the version thing 192.168. Hey, dot seventy eight dot one two two fifty four. Okay. I don't know how much time it takes. Oh, that's what. See, the main concept is first. 
find me on network yeah like you have to find the ip or uh, like ip or a mission on network right so i found this is the easiest way see now now we got we have uh how many one thing two three four five okay something like you know, five OC sub uh, I'm not sure like you know, uh, like but but inside this VM we have only two but you know, if you are smart enough uh, you know by based on the services running you can you can like you know narrow it down and here you can see if you know the difference between what is filtered and what is open uh, you know states you will be understanding and you can narrow the uh, IP in a sense network of which uh, I mean like the application belong in, in sense this uh, like you know OVA or this uh, application belongs so uh, from the results I can tell this this is the IP address of that machine right uh, you know but like with my experience and uh, you know with the scan results I can tell this is the IP address right so we can see, uh, uh, you know, there are services like VS FTPD, uh, two point zero point eight is running, and uh, OpenSSH is there, and RPC is there. Okay, so let us let us you know see more about uh, you know everything. I mean, like all the things. So let us see any vulnerabilities are there with respect to them. We'll try to look into that. If at all, if any exploits are there, okay. I always go for exploit. Sorry, uh, exploit DB is always better. So that we can use even use a. Uh, uh, we have we have already a, on backdoor execution. Okay. Okay. In if 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 that's the case, let us uh, you know, uh, search it in a. Uh, Okay, it's taking time to hop on MSF consoles. Uh, the like um, I recently uh created a new machine in VMware. Obviously, it might take a little bit of time to configure. So I might uh fast forward the video for a while. Okay, guys. Uh, now our MSF has been opened. So we have to check for VSPTD, right? So let me search VSF. Uh, what was it? VSF TPD. Okay, we have uh, one exploit. So okay, we can just let it use zero, right? Why have to? So show options. We have to check them. R host. So R host should be our now. Kali IP R host. Oh no, no. R host should be. Uh, I mean, like that one thirty we found, right? This one. Okay, I think uh, nothing else. So I think let me run. Oh, we already got. Yeah, for a shell. Let me see who am I. Okay. Oh, we got a, a, a root shell directly. Oh, um, and I don't like. Um, let us try to uh, you know, uh, get some little bit of subtraction shell. So I'll use uh, Python Pty. Oh, uh, it's not typing. Okay, yeah. Python minus p uh, import pty uh, pty dot spawn bin bash. Right. I have a mistake. Okay, nothing. Okay. So we got 
Okay, we have a lot of, we, we, we have a lot of, okay. So we have to, uh, like, you know, we found the, like, we, we, we did the first two things, like, you know, they asked us to find your network and exploit me. So we did that. We have directly a root. <laughs> Second one is add a user. So let us add user. Add user by theories. Password. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now we added one user. Let's try to go and log in whether it is if it is happening. Alright. Uh click here. P Y T G T H E O R I H S. One, two, three, four. Done. Guys, we are into this. In the sense, uh, we are into the shell. Now the other thing is, uh, they ask us to uh, find a hidden data. Uh, you can, you can, you can, you know, uh, find data. I will or something like. Uh, we'll try to find from here. Uh, ls hello. Uh, Siri. Ls hello. Or something like Siri. Oh, ls minus hello. Oh, we have something file. Definitely, this file is something else. Uh, let me check something. Oh, we don't have a permission to open this. Uh, okay, but but not an issue. We we already have a, a root root uh <laughs> no, root shell only right so if you open here and if you go to oh it it can go to user directly no 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 wait 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 I think it is you can go to home wait oh oops home oh. Oh, you can either go to byte theories and open that. Uh, oh, sorry. Why is tab is not working? Okay, it's not interactive shell. Okay. Byte theories. Theories slash. Okay, anyhow, like I we have uh, the file, right? Okay, so this is the data actually. Um, so, so, according to my thing, if yeah, like, let me try to copy it down. Let me try to copy all the things. Hey, I, here I think I, I can use even uh, you know I can even dump the file to uh, my local machine and even I can do you can use uh, something like SCP. If you guys know uh, SCP, you can use the SCP module to uh, you know like SCP using SSH right to dump uh, uh, like that image file. Into your uh, uh, you know uh, Kali machine, and you can uh, you can you can do further things, or else like you know as I can see the whole extra value. What I will try to do in a sense, I'll try to do it in a multiple ways. First, I will uh, I'll try to save it as JPG. We'll see how it uh, shows for the user. If I save, like I'm just 
curious like just to see how it works like how it uh, will be shown something like file dot uh, jpg and also i will save as another one file dot th uh, no wait file one dot txt okay so let us see whether can we be able to open that file dot jpg okay so it is something like corrupted okay so let's try to fix it so it is something like um, uh it is extra value right so let's try to dump here So from exa okay nothing magic let's let's try the first things possible okay nothing is there so we have this uh, suspicious thing something like uh hyphen henny hyphen henny right so let's try to uh find and uh, replace them uh with nothing okay so now it's got replaced okay now we'll try to put this value now at least it has to work we'll see uh x uh oh <laughs> i think we got we got we got we got our iran text i think yeah this was our iran text and yo guys so we done the things the what like we just uh you know uh, we what we did is with the help of uh yeah map first we identified the hypena network if you remember all right we, then we googled it and we understood like um, it is it was vulnerable for some back to then then we <coughs> triggered our msf msf yeah exploit then using msf we got a root shell then with the root shell we just had at the user then when adding we just got a jpg file and that was a corrupted jpg we just wanted to fix it and we fixed it and we got our file so this is it uh, for this video guys if you guys want more ctf videos in uh, like you no know, ctf videos not like just uh, all the YouTube does right. If you want ideas to finish a CTF in a very earlier manner, okay. This CTF was given me for a three to four days time, like, but I submitted within uh, three hours, three to four hours with a brief report, not just uh, like you know, exporting thing. We had write a bit brief report, so I just submitted it within uh, three to four hours. So, if you guys want uh, to know the fastest way or the smartest way to do a ctf please let us know in a comment section or you can message us in our uh, telegram channel all right so see you guys in other video bye bye take care